Alright guys, uh, although a very stupid test, it's a curious one. Uh, I have a Cold Steel Recon, uh, the new gen, and I discovered there's blade play on it, okay, vertically and horizontally. So, when trying to re retract this from the tree, I kind of felt like this would snap if I pushed on it. So, I'm very curious to see if it's going to. This is not steel lined, and now I'm wondering the importance of a steel line knife for very hard use, okay? And when I say hard use, I'm not talking about open your packages if there's a staple in the box. I'm talking about like just beating the crap out of your knives because your life depends on it. Whatever that means to you, okay? For daily use or EDC tasks, it's completely unnecessary to even know if it's going to go this far. It doesn't make a difference. Still one of the most uh, uh, best hard use affordable knives out there, period. Okay, and the locking mechanism is amazing. But anyway, I just want to put some pressure downwards on this handle to see what's going to happen. Okay, I'm wondering if the handle's going to break just the G10 or if that blade will snap first. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to put an incredible amount of pressure on it because that would be going a little bit too far. You're not purposely trying to break your knife, but let's say you go to take the side of the tree and you push down an accident or you slip and you lean on your knife. I just want to see what's going to happen. How much flex it'll actually have before it breaks. And if it does break, what part of it is going to break. All right. So... Here we go, just a little bit of pressure. Wow. That's, uh, <laughs> that was certainly unexpected. But wow. Uh, <laughs> all right. So let's see, what broke on this knife? Um, the blade broke. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm very happy to see that the blade broke. Is this guy friggin' nuts? Why did he just do that? No, no, no. I don't mean I'm happy, like, oh, yay, my knife's broken. Totally not what I meant. Um, what I mean is that <laughs> the blade, I don't know if this is good or bad, but what I was expecting to happen is I was expecting this the G10 handles to snap before the metal blade. And it's very surprising. What I've gathered from this test here is that G10, in general, is friggin' awesome. And I don't think I'm ever going to consider um, whether my knife has steel liners or not. Um, that was something I used to do is like, oh, yeah, I like the steel line one, uh, steel lined um, folders just in case I do a little, you know, um, horizontal pressure on that or whatever. It'll hold semi thick uh, handle scales like the, the G10s on uh, on this cold steel. Totally adequate to see the blade fail before the handles. Is really amazing. I, it's honestly, it's a little shocking. I wouldn't have thought that was going to happen. On the flip side, not that great to know that the blade <laughs> failed. Um, I, I really, what happened was, well, you've seen the video. I'm sure you can watch it over and over again if you want. But basically, pushed down. I had some flex. You know, came back up, pushed down again. Had a little bit of flex. I don't know if it's the second or third time, but um, just there must have been just enough where. It cracked the surface and then just from the pressure of me leaning on it and this is i'm not jumping up and down i'm not hitting it with a hammer this is not even all of my body weight and i'm not you know as heavy as i used to be either so just pushing down and i'm not you know he-man i'm not any kind of hulk or anything like that um, basically leaning on it with the majority of my body weight just going like that pushing down on it it snapped it's an extremely interesting result um so what does that really mean to you? Let me see if I can get a stick and move this uh, this piece of blade because the the blade is still. <laughs> let me see this. Bring this in a little bit. First of all, I am very sad. My knife's broken now. All right. There's our blade. <laughs> it still locks closed, even though there's no blade on it. Okay. Actually, I don't know. I'll have to use the stick again. Push it open. Friggin' A. Need another stick. Alright. Why is everything rotten? All right, that's it. <laughs> Another chance for Leatherman to shine. All right, so yeah, the locking mechanism, 
and what's left of the blade is still perfectly functional and <laughs> there's still blade play that's hilarious um, but yeah the blade snapped so um, that's pretty interesting results here I'm trying to get the blade out of the tree now let's see if the Leatherman can handle that task as well No, that's in there. Hmm. Let's try this. There we go. Sorry, Leatherman, you can't always be the star. Didn't help me one bit this time. Okay. So. Here's our blade. Here's where it snapped. A perfectly clean snap, too. It's actually strange, because when you look at the, um, the inside of here, it almost looks... Um, what, what am I doing? <laughs> so I'm looking at like the camera and stuff and not my viewfinder. Um, where it broke, it looks very chalky and cement like on the inside, like powdered steel. And, but it was a nice clean break all the way across. And um, just a reminder, knives have their limits. Even the infamous cold steels that everyone just drools over. I like them. I'm a cold steel guy. I'm not a fanboy of any knife type. Any knife style, any knife uh, company, you guys know that. I have my favorable knives, some I like more than others. Happen to love battle songs, happen to like spider goes. Um, but I love them all. I love Benchmates, I love Sogs, I love Kershaws, you know, CRKT. Um, there's a million of them. And they all have their, their good knives, and they all have some models that I just don't, don't care for that much. Whether they look ugly to me, or whether I think they're cheap and crappy or not worth the money. So, um, still like cold steel knives. I would not take anything away from this knife whatsoever. But what I got out of this little test, in my opinion, is that um, G10 is incredibly strong. And in, th in this case, it was stronger than steel. Um, and that uh, I'm not really going to focus so much on making sure that my, my quote-unquote hard-use um, folders have steel liners in it. That's what I got out of this test. And I still consider this to be one of the strongest knives out there, you know, for less than a hundred bucks. So, don't watch this video and say cold steels are junk, because they're not. This is not, <laughs> this is not a test that any knife would pass, in my opinion, at least not for the money. Anyway, really interesting results here. Um, of course, anyone who hates cold steel would love this video just because they broke one. But it's interesting. It's not some cheap china knife, you know? So there you go. <laughs> All right, reality hit me. My knife's broken. I'm going to go in the corner and cry. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate your time, as always. And uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.